Outdoor Adventures. Greetings all, welcome to Chooks Outdoor Adventures. Well, I wanted to do a comparison between the new SIG P365X Macro that I've been talking about a lot and the Glock 48. Now the Glock 48 is several years older than the P365X Macro, at least two years older. And a lot of people have been giving me grief. This is a safe firearm over the fact that I did this chop job on the macro and I could have just got an XL frame grip module. That is not true. This module is completely redone. It's totally different than the XL module. So even if I did that, it would not be exactly the same. And Long Windy Road really liked the feel of this grip module in his hands. It's slightly larger. So even though that's true, I could have got something similar it wouldn't have been the same. Anyways, I want to compare these two firearms. I have the Glock 48, which I've actually been really impressed with. When it first came out, I did like a thing about how it was stupid and I was wrong. It is actually super comfortable, even though it's the same basic footprint as a Glock 19, it's considerably thinner and it is very comfortable. Now, there are some pros and cons to both of these. The biggest con, to the Glock 48 is the capacity and even with the Shield Arms 15 round mag, which in reality, if this was a stock mag, I'd say that the Glock 48 won, but it's not, it, it's not as reliable as a Glock mag. Um, Chuck had 1.5 malfunctions in 200 rounds, which was unacceptable to him. I shot 45 rounds without a hiccup. I'm pretty impressed with it, but there's a lot of reports of these things failing. And then, the, and then I saw later I need to get a aluminum mag catch deal, mag release in order for this mag not to like wear away the polymer on the insides of my gun. And that is just to me unacceptable, but it's still a Glock. I thought the trigger was better. So let's just roll the footage. We're going to compare these two. Um, I'll do, I'll roll the shooting footage and then I'll compare them side by side and we'll see who wins. So let the best gun win. Here we go. All right. not hold open on the last round. All right, showdown. We got the new P365X Macro, crazy slide port that the slide extends longer than the barrel, just really ingenious gun. I chopped mine. I think it looks pretty clean now, especially with the Hogue grip on it. So before the grip extended to right about there, and I just thought it felt ridiculous and I couldn't conceal it well, but now, it is like the perfect concealed carry. It's all I want to carry. Um, great gun. This, I was wrong about. This is the, uh, and both of these firearms are safe, by the way. This is the Glock 48, which, like I said, I was wrong about. It's actually a great pistol. I'm super happy with it. This does have an upgrade. It's got some night sights, some Trujicon night sights on there which are a really nice addition they're metal and just a million times better than plasticky stock glock sights but like i said this is the footprint of a glock 19 except super thin you know just over an inch thick 1.4 inches something like that and it feels good in the hand um and this is the shield arms 15 round mag which i'm kind of torn about it did work with no felt malfunctions but it's got these metal lips that I guess eat away at your mag catch or something. So I got to get an aluminum one for it, which I probably will do. But uh, because of that, that's a big downfall to this. This is the stock 10 round, which is completely horrible compared <laughs> to the 17 round. Even chopped, it's not bad. It fits like that. And I've got 17 plus one in this package. So already that's a win for the Springfield. Triggers really shocked me. The trigger, 
I always talk crap about Glock triggers. This trigger was actually better than the Springfield trigger. It had less of travel. Um, and they're about the same. So they felt the same to me anyways. And so I, I shot this and, or I shot the Glock first. And then I went to shoot this and it didn't shoot because I wasn't bringing them back far enough because this has a shorter travel. So I actually am surprised to say the trigger is better than this. Obviously recoil was better than this. It was just amazing. This thing is snappy because it's so thin and light. This thing is just a dream to shoot because of the compensated slide. I am losing some velocity because of that. And I wish they would have extended it more. They should have made it this long so I could have had more barrel. So that's kind of a bummer. I was surprised the Pro Mag worked <laughs> because when you're feeding rounds out of it, they kind of get stuck. But in the gun firing, it works just fine. And then, of course, the stock SIG 12 rounder uh, is great. So even with a 12 rounder, I'm doing better as far as length. Let's, let's compare the length to them. Yeah, it's shorter. It is shorter than the Glock. But if I had to pick between the two, begrudgingly, I would pick this just because of the recoil, all the mag possibilities, and I don't have that weird, like, shield arms mag from a second company you know not an official glock mag and it's wearing away this if it wasn't for that i would say this wins absolutely if they made stock glock 15 round mags this would win um but it's, it's a close second this is still an awesome gun i do carry it sometimes really happy with it but i have to say uh the contest goes to the sig there's just there's just no way with all the mags and how comfortable this feels and shooting it with hardly any recoil is amazing. So winner goes to the SIG. Let me know what you guys think. My name is Duke. I like to trade my guns just for fun. But now I have none. Oh, look at Chuck my bear. But I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures. Why don't you call us that? Every time, guaranteed.